As the world wonders where is tennis star Peng Shuai, there is a growing chorus of concern for her well-being from the tennis fraternity on Twitter. Former world number one Serena Williams being the latest to join in to voice her devastation and shock. The Chinese tennis star has not been seen in public after she accused an ex-Chinese vice premier of sexual assault. Yesterday, Chinese state media outlet CGTN tweeted what it said was an email Peng had sent to WTA chairman Steve Simon, who is also its chief executive. Journalist Laura Chia is here to share more. Welcome to the show, Laura. Laura, the number of tennis players sharing the hashtag Where is Peng Shuai is growing with each passing day, including from the men's game. But uh, what's the latest from the Women's Tennis Association? Uh, hi, Harrieto. So, more players and officials are becoming increasingly concerned about the whereabouts and safety of Peng Shuai. And overnight, the WTA chairman and CEO Steve Simon told the CNN that the WTA is actually prepared to pull tournaments out of China and make decisions based on whether they are right or wrong instead of compromising by putting business first, as this issue is bigger than business. Um, this is a really strong message on how seriously they are taking this because there are 10 WTA events scheduled in China next year as well as the season-ending WTA finals which will be there until 2028 and when the deal was announced, it was said to be worth $1 billion. But the WTA understands that here is a woman who, knowing the repercussions, is willing to speak up and tell her story about an issue that has been shoved under the carpet for the longest time. And now that those repercussions are being seen with people not knowing where she is and if she's safe, despite the email supposedly from her. So more people are growing more concerned. And besides Serena, other players such as Naomi Osaka and tennis legend Billie Jean King have also spoken up in support of Peng Shuai and the WTA. Male players like men's world number one Novak Djokovic said he was shocked that no one knows where she is and Swiss legend Stan Wawrinka has also um, voiced his concern for her. So it's good that many people in the tennis world are kind of speaking up about it now. Peng Shuai is a former world number one in doubles, a household name in China. Laura, tell us more about her impact on the tennis world. Peng is easily one of the most recognisable Chinese stars after Lina. Uh, and she has beaten multiple top players as well, such as Kim Clijsters and Marion Bartoli. She's the first player from China, male or female, in the singles or doubles to reach uh, the world number one ranking when she did so in 2014. And she won her first Grand Slam title at Wimbledon 2013 with Taiwanese Su Wei. And after that, they also won the 2014 French Open together as well. She has also had some success in singles when she reached the semifinals of the 2014 US Open. And she has also represented China in three Olympic Games in 2008, 2012 and 2016. She won the 2010 Asian Games singles and team gold medals. And while she's now ranked 192nd in the WTA uh, doubles rankings, like you mentioned, she uh, was the former world number one in 2014. And while her last appearance was in a WTA 500 tournament in Qatar in February last year, she has definitely helped to elevate the profile of Chinese players, especially in the tennis world. Journalist Laura Chia now follows StraitsTimes.com for the latest developments on Chinese tennis star Peng Shuai.